I want to define what one of those people are because I don't think you're one of those, those people. people. You know, those people. Mm -hmm. And I want to listen. I want to learn from my mistakes of the past. I want to listen because I'm missing something here. I'm missing the people who are who are like, we've got to get to Costco right now and we need to back up a semi truck. I don't care if we have to steal one, kids. We need an 18 wheeler and we're going to fill it with the toilet paper and we're going to set anybody on fire who gets in our way. This is it. This is the zombie apocalypse. We're all going to die. <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't. If, if everyone gets the coronavirus, about 1% of the population is going to die. Uh, if, if we continue to do nothing, and I think we are doing a lot, I, I think the president is making bold moves. I think he's doing the right thing. I think he's also doing the right thing by saying, relax, take it seriously, but relax. We're all going to get to the other side. But take it seriously. Well, 99% of us <laughs> should, be, should yeah. be clear. Yeah, we're not at all. <laughs> well, when I say the other yeah. side, we eventually okay, well. all will make it to the other <laughs> side. That's a fair point. Yeah, okay. No. Um, so I don't understand the people who are panicking, and I also don't understand the people who are, uh, who are saying this is a conspiracy. The entire world is trying to stop Donald Trump including Donald Trump and his administration. Yeah. The entire world is in on some plot to make sure that he doesn't win. Boeing, do you know why we had such a bad uh, day just a couple of days ago on Wall Street? I mean, just pit take, name the day of a bad day on Wall Street this week. One of the reasons why is because Boeing almost went out of business, man. They, they collapsed. They, one day, I haven't followed them up. They may have rebounded and everything is fine. But one day this week, Boeing, it was the day after the speech because we're not going to, we're not going to fly to Europe. We're not going to be doing these things. The airlines are getting hit. Boeing has already been hit with its problems. Uh, and, and people were looking at, okay, who's not going to be buying airpl airplanes for a while? Oh, I know, the entire airline industry. <laughs> who's the weakest one? Looks like Boeing. I'm selling. Okay, that's all logical. That's all logical. Is Boeing in on this too? <laughs> well, I mean, well, I, mean I, I, I love, you know, first of all, it is completely an understandable instinct to go and put this in the same category as so many other news stories that we talk about, oh, which yeah. are completely the president is getting treated completely unfairly by the media. And uh, that is, in this case, true. Does the media want to... The only thing they seem to care about is whether Donald Trump accurately said something in a, in a you know, uh, as he's stopping by with reporters, and they want to fact check that for nine hours instead of focusing on, on the virus. So... It completely makes sense, right, for mm -hmm. the average person who's following this to look at this story and see that in the story because it is there. The media yeah. is trying to exploit but this to hurt Donald Trump. two things can be true. Two things can be true at the right. same time. It actually is serious. A couple of pieces of evidence. As you point out, Donald Trump himself is taking bold steps against this. Right. He is, he is and, saying, and he's getting hammered yeah, for it. Yeah. Hammered for it. Right. Why would he do that? And he's got the backing of, you know, uh, the major the, the major people who understand New England viruses. Journal of Medicine, the yeah. CDC. Fauci. I mean, uh, everybody. You, everyone seems to be supporting those types of things that we're doing. It has not been perfect. I don't want to say that it has no. been. But so one, Donald Trump himself would have to be sinking his own presidency. Right. Two, Italy has basically closed. Okay, they've closed their doors. Did, this is a country. Did the, uh, they did don't the, close did doors. Did the Pope have a secret meeting and go, <laughs> we're going to close Italy. That <laughs> damn Donald Trump is not going to be president again. Now, you might say, okay, well, uh, Italy might not like, but like Italy is not going to close. They're closed all of the businesses in the country <laughs> with the exception of grocery stores, banks, and pharmacies. No pizza for you. Like, right. Like That's not it's happening. Not, it's not something you do to get rid And again, if you're going to do this, you do it in October. You right. certainly don't do it now. <laughs> we, could, we could go through nine news cycles before then. The, but maybe the greatest piece of evidence is India self-quarantined. India loves Donald Trump more than Melania Trump. <laughs> India freaking loves Trump. And they've done this. This is a serious threat. And people, the, the biggest issue with it is the, the countries that have had success 
turning it into just an anno- a nuisance where some people die and it's really sad and it's awful. Right. As opposed to what's happening in Italy where their entire system is being run over. The countries that have had success are the countries that have acted in everyone's normal day mind irrationally. Yeah. Right. Like you so, can't go. We're closing everything. Everybody shut down. Everybody stay away from everybody. China yeah. was following their citizens on the street with drones. They all had <laughs> QR codes on right, their I phones know. and they had to check in every building they ran into. Right. And they have to scan in with QR codes <laughs> right. so they could monitor every person right. and where they went. So that's totally unreasonable. We don't want to do that. No. But the but democracies and republics are having a hard time because you can't do that, nor do we want to do that. So uh, to live in a free society, we must all be rational. Now, the problem, I blame most of this on the press. The press is so discredited. Remember I said this, uh, I don't know, 20 years ago, and yeah. I've been beat, ringing this bell forever. You, There's going to come a time where you must have your credibility because no one will know who to turn to. No one will know what to believe. So you must have your credibility. And here's how credible people are talking today. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's coming. None of us do. The doctors don't. But if this isn't about just the number of dead, 400 million people don't have to die. Okay? I don't think 400 million people are going to die. I don't think, uh, you know, uh, 400,000 in America are going to die from this. I, I don't know the number. I know it's going to be probably, in the end, about 10 times the flu. In the grand scheme of things, that's not the apocalypse, okay? It's not. The problem here is, is the overwhelming of the the system. Because this has such a high infection rate, if we all have the flu, everybody says, well, so what? We all have the flu. No, we all have the flu, So if we all have the flu, our system isn't built for that. It's like we can handle a hurricane because America will come together and we'll we'll rebuild cities. We'll do it. We're fine. But America is not prepared to have a hurricane in every town in America. Okay, we're not built for that. We can handle earthquakes in in uh, California as bad and scary as those earthquakes and those fires are. We can all band together and we can help each other and we can do it. But we can't handle an earthquake from one coast to another that's wiping out our towns. It's and let's say it's an earthquake that only destroys buildings and everybody lives. We still aren't prepared for that. So that's why this should be concerning to people. It's not the death rate. It, it, you could say it's exactly the flu. Yes, but it's the flu where 20%, now that number here in America is at 12, which makes me feel really good. So let's use that number. 12% of those who get it need hospitalization. That's 12% of anybody who gets it. Let's say we all get the flu and nobody dies. If 12% need hospitalization and just 12% of 40% of this country, 12% of of 20% of the nation, the hospital system is overwhelmed and we don't have the resources to be able to deal with that. Yeah. And and the flu, you know, the media likes to say it's not like there's only two things you can say about the flu, apparently, which is, oh, it's no big deal. It's just like the flu. And then in addition to that, you can say, it is a big deal. It's not like the flu. It is a big deal. Well, neither one of those are right, okay? There are some similarities to the flu. But think about this as flu year one. Before we have a vaccine, before we have any treatments, flu year one was 1918, okay? That was really ugly. Now, that's not going to happen here. We're not going to have 33% of the global population die. We've advanced a long way from there. Right. However... We don't know how far it's going to go. So, number one, we should all say, you know, it's not, oh, it's just the flu. Well, the flu's serious. The, the 1918 flu in year 102 of that flu is still wiping out 50,000 people in the most advanced economy ever. Right. And right? we don't freak out because we're used we're to used it. We're used to it, but it's still a big deal. Right. And let's just say, and you've pointed this one out before, Glenn, let's just say it's exactly the flu. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. We know what the flu is. It's the flu. Well, then we have double the normal flu. If right. we're losing 50,000 people 
last year. If it goes up to 100,000 people next year, that's a big development. Right. So we should yes. really care about right. these things. And again, I, it, I stand by it's not because I'm not I am not panicked by this no, at I, all, I, I, nor should anyone be panicked by this. You should, should just be, be smart. And here's what's happening. I think people feel one of two ways. This is my guess. And I'm going to go to the phones next. Um, they feel one of two ways. They feel like. um uh, this is just outrageous and there's no reason to panic and there's no way. And they they are trying to prove the point, but they're taking it too far that the media and everybody else is they're just hype machines. OK, and that is true. And it's absolutely true. But they don't want to they don't they don't want to be they don't want to be the ones who looked like they were freaking out. When the death toll is probably 10 times the number of the flu. That's fine. I understand that. That's logical. They don't want to be the one at the end saying, uh, you know, I freaked out or whatever. The opposite is also true. People are panic buying because they don't want to be the one who was stupid while everybody else was out buying. Yeah. They, they didn't do anything. And so they join in. You... There, this is the loss of gray in our area, in, in our in our country. This is the loss of reason in our uh, country. This is the loss of uh, of of subtlety. You know, there's there we we have no nuance anymore. It's either all of this or all of that. This is neither. This is neither. Most things have subtleties and nuances to them. And, you know, I'll say on the Trump part of this, Trump not necessarily known for his nuance, like no. not exactly no. what got him to where he is. But think about what he's saying. He's been he is, very nuanced in what he's right. saying. He is like, hey, here's massive resources. Here's my top people. Here's Oval Office speech after massive press conference. He's doing things he has not done in years. Mm -hmm. And he's doing all of this while at the same time saying, hey, we should remain calm about this, but this is serious. Let's take care of it. He, That's actually – he hasn't expressed it perfectly every single time, but that attitude is exactly the attitude you should have. This is amazing because it is – It is the best thing he said was, we're going to make it through this because we make it through everything. We're Americans, and we're going we're gonna to make it through it. But we have to have each other, and we have to do smart things right now. Right now.